this week, Garen and Ellie finish the exterior paint and trim on the earth bag cabin. We add fishing plants to the aquaponics system, and Shay and Ben try their hand at making kombucha. Stuff is just rock hard, perfect. Doesn't rub off. It is. It's stucco, and that's whole new animal. It's working great. Going to get some paint today. Mm -hmm. Looks so good. Thank you. We ended up running out of paint on the red before we were finished with the little awning. We got some more paint and painted that. And while we had everything out, we decided to do another coat just underneath all the eaves and around everything. And it really it darkened the paint up. Yeah, as a good call, it looks really good now. It's very red. Now. Yeah, it's and a more lot. pink. We're gonna fill some of the big spots on our cleats. We have these sections that are open, and we're gonna fill them with spray foam. Here we go, we're gonna start painting the outside of this building. I think we can get it done in a day, but we'll see. All the fun stuff set up here. Put parts where they're supposed to go, and push the trigger, and have fun. Make sure all the stuff's tight, so don't spray me in the face again. Okay, we decided to go with kind of a medium brown. It'll dry a little darker than that. About like that color there. So we think that'll look pretty nice. Kind of a chocolate brown. A little different, but I think it'll look really good. I'm gonna thin this paint down a little bit, make it go through the gun a little easier. Precise measuring device. All right, is it ready to paint? That is. Okay, let's see, what else do we need? Guess we need to go turn on the generator and start spraying. finished up all the spraying so now we gotta go around and hit everywhere that he couldn't get close to the, to the door frame and the eaves and stuff. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. While testing out the aquaponics system, I realized the air pump was getting mighty hot. I figured I needed to install a fan in there, so I went out to the junkyard and found this old microwave and pulled the fan out of it. This guy turns on, <laughs> and it blows across the pump. The cool thing about this particular fan is it runs off 120 volts, right off this. It's a reliable fan. Not enough to blow your hair back. It really blows me away. That's all I gotta say. Let's go put it on. One of the beneficial things about doing the pipe system is you use less gravel for your grow bed. We found out doing the ones with the barrels where you cut them and you flip the tops over and you fill the whole top up with growing medium, it can get really expensive. Now we'll be able to get our fish, we'll get our plant, and we'll get going. Yeah, it'll be really fun. We are going on this crazy adventure to make kombucha. Last winter, when I went up to the mountains, I was getting sick all the time. Ben introduced me to this drink called kombucha. It's made with a scoby, which is like yeast and bacteria. Which, by the way, I'll link all the YouTube videos that I watched before making this because I'm not doing this off the top of my head. And I'm scared, so we're going to do a half batch first. It has a lot of ginger in it, plus it's a fermented drink. I'm not nearly as sick. My teeth are getting a lot healthier than they were. So we ordered a couple different things for this project. We got some black tea, these cute little bottles, and then this thing, which is the yeast and bacteria that helps it ferment. Would you like to do the honor? I do want to okay. do the honors. Now we have to wait because if it's too warm, it'll, it'll kill. kill the scoby. You know be a good time right now though? To add your sugar. That would be good. I almost forgot about that. It is now time to add the slime. Woo! In it went. All right, Mr. Scoby. We believe in you. I'm not ready. Ooh, is it heavy? You're not ready for this kind of responsibility? No. Taking care of kombucha can be very hard. Abandon it for 10 days. I'm gonna figure out something for the trim here. Contemplating on like using pallet boards and stuff like that, but our pallets aren't quite long enough, so I'd have to piece it together, which would work, but it's not gonna look quite as good. We have a lot of leftover two by sixes, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try ripping down one of these two by sixes, see what it looks like. All right, 
That looks like trim, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah so. Well. These aren't cut to length. Uh, I'll cut them to the bottom, I think, but something like that. Yeah, that's gonna look really nice. Painted up red? Yeah, painted red. And then on this one, I probably have to like kind of notch this out a little bit. They just make it look more organic and fun. So. Nice. I like it. Fortunately, I don't have finished nails. These are just the nail gun nails. I've pre-drilled them. That way they don't split the wood. I'm just gonna paint over the top of them and you won't even notice they're there. This is the last piece, so I wanna make sure that it all butts up real nicely. We bought so many plants. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, I don't know what it is, but I saw like, TV thing on it and it, it traps bugs. It's like a Venus flytrap. On the bottom here is like a sugary sweet liquid or something that they really like and they get drawn in and eaten. I love it. <laughs> and I, I figured love... this would be more fun than bug killers. Oh yeah. Shall we take a tour inside my garden car? Yes. And a little like a snack bell pepper. I think I got an orange one and a purple one. Lemon cucumber. Mm. It looks like a ball, but apparently it's really good in salad, so we bought it. I'm with Early Ellinger here, and we're just in this Memphis area right now. I'm by the waterfront, so we can see the mighty Mississippi behind us. It is great uh, to be out here in the Memphis area. Little message out there if we get somebody who wanted to come out here and meet with us. Here he is, it's pretty awesome. I'd like to thank Early for his time that he spent with me in Memphis. Early has a great family. Things are going really well for him. I've got a bit of a budding homestead and a wife and a son who is a phenomenal musician. Woohoo! Early's having some trouble with mitigating and managing water on this property. And this particular creek overflows really badly. We have a whole bunch of creeks that run through the property and kind of uh, meet together. And most of the time they're dry, but every now and then you get these rainstorms and they just rise up really high and fast. We've been putting crossings across it, they'll wash out, we'll put the culvert in, that gets clogged upstream in, and that washes out, concrete it down, that doesn't wash out anymore, but now either side washes out. If you have any ideas for early, please comment below. Appreciate you. Thank you for the whole dinner thing and oh, the whole thanks. routine. So for meeting up and yeah. say hi to the family. If you'd like to meet with me, I will be in another city. I'll be out in Little Rock, Arkansas, coming up the last week of July. If you've got some homesteading projects going on or something odd that you're building, something different, please uh, let us know and we'll meet up and we can get it on video. If 10 or 15 people want to get together, that's fine too. I mean, we, the more the merrier. Let me know uh, via Twitter and see if we can put something together. Oh, that's cold. Progress has slowed a little bit. We uh, got a, a rainstorm come in. We got to pull these face pieces on this door frame off because that board that runs across that way, that's the frame for the footer there. You have to pull that off and then the boards need to run all the way down to the ground. Okay. Put some long ones on and now it's going to look, look really nice. We're going to put a coat of paint on these things and the door frame will be complete for real this time. This thing has been up here for probably three or four years and it's in great shape. Put it right in here and, and it's done. Got the whole door in, get it painted. I put a piece of trim on a little early, so I'm gonna have to paint around that, unfortunately. At the moment, it's looking really good. Looking like a house. I'm gonna paint the door red here. Who doesn't like a red door? It's great on the outhouse, so it'll look great on the house. It's my theory. What do you think, Dave? Sounds good. We've decided to paint these before we put them up. That way it's just so much easier to paint trim. You don't have to, you know, have a real steady hand. And it really comes out better, I think. So we're just giving these a quick paint and then I'll drill my holes. I got these all painted up and I think that these are about ready to get put up. I'm painting red. Loosen up our metal art. Yeah, needs a little touch up. You know, complete reface, but it's all the same. Giving it a little facelift. 
This is, you know, obviously a blind for a window that we don't use anymore. It's made out of bamboo. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off all the strings and pulleys on the back side, and then we're gonna use this to wrap around the water tank, give it just a nicer look. So I'm not real crazy about the cage and the white tank, so this will be nice to cover it, give it a little cuter look. We found this bamboo that should match to our bamboo that we put around the water tank. Putting some old engine oil on the bamboo. Hopefully it'll last longer. And this keeps the bugs away, not that bugs really bother bamboo, but the real bug, which is our pig and dogs. <laughs> I don't want them chewing on the end. I'm hoping that the smell is going to detour them. We're gonna head back to the aquaponic store and hoping to get some fish. I don't know if we will or not. We brought a sample of our water. We could test it. I did take a sip of it because I was curious. You did? The flavor was beautiful. <laughs> it tasted kind of sweet. So, which is a good sign, I hope. Maybe it was the sweet glue you used. Uh, I was thinking that same thing. The price would be those people in the movies that would like pick up something oh. and be like, yes, it's poop. Here's... <laughs> Probably looking at getting tilapia. We got 40 fish, 20 for each container, and we got some uh, seeds as well to plant. Well, I still hear it running, the system. Good. We need to check the water and stuff first, but my plan was to put one of these buckets just in here, not in the water yet, but just to get them used to the temperature. See these one. fish and this whole system's fine, but really the reason why I went is look at the, oh hand. I don't want to show that I paid a fortune for it. It was too cute. Look at my little piggy. Oh my gosh. Everybody keeps saying I need a partner for you eat. <laughs> There's a lot. We got sample stuff, pH testing, nitrate testing. I got a bag of fish food and uh, some more stuff for testing. I hope these little guys are gonna be good. Swim out. Oh, they are. That is all of them. Wow, you can hardly even see them. Next bucket. There they go. You got your new home, fishy. They're already down there in the PVC pipes. This water's warm too. So it begins. I'm just too curious. What's that? That's the scoby. This, this is, is the original one, and then this is the one that built. Oh, wow. Really? So it worked? Yeah. Almost tripled. Ooh, it's so gross. Now I'm just gonna look for any black mold or something weird. No, it's it actually looks pretty good. I don't know how much you're supposed to handle these things, but they are weird. What do you think, Ben? I think we're good to go. Now's the fun part. You can see it's already bubbling. It's already starting to ferment. And we'll go ahead and seal that one. Call it done. I think it smells like the right thing, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. He said you could drink it just like this. Can I test it for us, Ben? Shall I? That was a big test. It's good. I would drink that. I'm excited. <laughs> the first batch we made was very successful. The kombucha is finally done. Maybe a little too successful. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Mazel tov! That scared me, I jumped back and spoke to everyone. Ah! <laughs> Can you get it over to the sink? <laughs> well, we know that one worked. <laughs> is it ever gonna stop? Oh, wow, I don't know. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's try that one. Now that's kombucha. That's really good. That's definitely, <laughs> yep. Just ignore the splash that went across the entire kitchen and I call this a success. <laughs> That you are technically rinsing veggies, kind of. Bryson got all it in now, we're ready for plants, so we all got together and everybody was planting their favorite thing. Shay had her veggies and I had some strawberries I wanted to plant. I was looking for okra and rutabaga. Yeah? And we didn't have any. Will they grow more ollies? <laughs> 
an Ollie tree. I think he is planted. We gotta figure out what's gonna go where. We're very grateful that Bryson has the opportunity to put together his project. It's been kind of his dream, and we got all excited to be a part of what he does. He's always volunteering on our stuff, you know? Yeah, we were happy to finally help him on his. Professional technique for getting dirt off of a plant. He's too squish. The plants that had the roots, we had to get all the dirt off of them mm -hmm. and we had to wash all that out. The shade's ready for a rinse. Yep, are we going in, Red Leader? Yeah, further, I think. I think Bryson's excitement, too, is just wearing off on all of us. It's so exciting planting all these plants and hopeful that they're gonna grow. I'm guessing here now, because Bryson's our expert. He's kind of quirky. Okay, we're ready to go put this Plant in. Plant one, not coming. That's right there, we're not watering it. Some success. All right, so on perfect. First one, huh? Yay for the first one. Yay. All of us, we're all rooting. Sure, we work. And, um, and the pig is also rooting. Are you rooting? Are you rooting? In the past, we've done little seeds. The old days when Bryson had his real small systems, mm -hmm. we would just drop seeds in there and they just pop up. So we thought, oh, well, let's put some seeds in there too. Try so. it out. I'm gonna try one of these Moringa trees. So I would take, and I would add it in there. Did I just put one? Sure. I'll cover it up. A little bit. We would take, we put in the smaller, oops, they don't fall through the bottom. Ooh, how tiny. Okay. Where'd they go? I don't know. This is my moringa tree. Yeah, remember it. It's so exciting planting all these plants. Oh, Look at that this. root. I grow a root mustachio. Smells like dirt. You must water your mustachio. Brush it specially with a special brush. You also must put fertilizer on mustachio. So you have to put that on face? Yes, you do. A mustachio question? Yes. How long did it take you to grow your mustache? It took me 45 years. It was very hard to perfect. But now that it's this long, I will never cut it. I'm hopeful that they're gonna grow. I know a lot of them probably won't make it the first time around, but it's just fun to have that hope. We're already talking about possibly, you know, having to do a cover for it and that kind of stuff too. So we'll have to see how it goes. Yeah. I'm worried about all my babies. I feel like I've just sent them off to school for the first day. One of them's gotta live. There is no rule. But 74 of them, how could one not live? In the desert, one in 10 live. A sad thought that only seven out of 74 will live, but then it's also a happy thought because in our heads, everything can grow. Really excited about your design. I love this. A long piping that we put in. I think it's gonna be fun to harvest it because we're standing up and there's no bending over. I'm very excited about the design. I don't know how this is all gonna work out. This is just kind of the first test run too. So um, we'll certainly be giving you an update back mm -hmm. uh, next week. Putting the hardware on for the door. I'm just doing the easy part. Garen's gonna do the door now. Red door, which looks amazing. We finished the outside. It is completely done. All the painting, doors, windows, trims. It's that been was a, a lot of painting. See our door is done in the back there. That's gonna be it for this week on the cabin. Next week, I think we're gonna go around and we're gonna start cleaning up the outside of the building. This week, the design of the week is this one here. Bryson in a bowl of fish, which is suiting for his new aquaponic system. If you'd like to pick up this design or any of the designs that we've done in the past, the shop link will be down in the description. We have tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeves, sweatshirts, all kinds of stuff over there. If any of those designs look appealing to you, the shop link will be down in the description below. Thanks so much for being a part of our family and we'll catch you next Friday. Bye. Safety first. And we got right here in these orange buckets that cost us an arm and a leg. We got the fish inside there. Not happy about having to pay for the lid and the bucket head. Wait, I have to pay for the lid too? <laughs> our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. 
If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Are you gonna get like a little fishing pole and do Oh that? yes, Tom Sawyer style. You know, just a stick and a little string. Yeah. And, and a little nail. And then put a worm on there and a hat. I was thinking too, you're probably gonna put a big deck around there setting where we can hold our little Actually, fishing pole. <laughs> you know those decks that they put on bass boats? And I'll be up there fly fishing. <laughs> <and laughs> we'll just bring a bass boat back here, put yeah. it on stilts. And I'll be finding those lures that catch for bass that are like this big. <laughs> 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 it's still out here. <laughs> hey, I caught ten at one time. Oh no! I've been blocked. Okay.